Hi there, so I've decided to have a look in the secret menu of our i3 to find out what its maximum battery capacity still is now that it's just over nine years old. Um, yeah, it was uh, registered in September 2014 and we've had it two years. We bought it when it was seven years old and it's now just done 60,000 miles. So I was really curious about uh, how much battery capacity is left in it really, because uh, I'm still amazed that we're still getting the amount of miles out of it that we do. So in the summer, uh, when it's 100% charged, we can actually see 85 miles out of it. Um, in the autumn at the moment, in October, we're getting sort of 72 to 75 out of it on a full charge. And then in the depths of winter, we can kind of expect about 65 miles out of it on a full charge. Um, so it's obviously nine years old. Um, the battery's out of warranty now. So it's uh, eight year warranty normally on the BMW batteries, um, but it seems to be holding up really, really well. So let's have a look at a quick look at the video of me going through um, the uh, controls on the car, and then we'll have a little chat about the battery capacity. So I'm just scrolling through the i3 menu here. There are many videos on YouTube about how to get into this. Basically, you have to hold down the side button for about 10 seconds and then go to unlock. If it's not unlocked and enter the sum or the total of your last five digits in your uh, vehicle identification number or your VIN. Uh, and then you should be able to get into this uh, extended menu. And you scroll down into fuel tank battery here on number 13. Um, and then you should be able to see um, your tank size as if you've got the extender on the uh, and the battery size as well. So 16.2 is the maximum. And I'm currently at 93%. Yeah, that matches what's on screen now. And the battery what's left is 14.5 apparently. So the car says 16.2 kilowatt hours uh, maximum capacity at 100%, uh, which is very strange because we're on 93% uh, charge, as you can see in the video, but the actual uh, what's remaining says 14.5. Now, if you do the maths on that, 14.5 is not 93% of 16.2. So that's a little bit strange, but I have kind of seen on some forums that um, what other people have been saying that this kind of battery maximum can actually kind of change a little bit. Um, and it can actually do, uh, it can actually change because of the temperature outside. Now, when I took that reading today, it was, it's October and it's 10 or 11 degrees outside and the car hadn't been moved for um, a couple of hours. So the battery was not warm when I did this reading. So it would be really interesting to do this reading again uh, in the summertime when I'm sort of seeing 20 degrees, 25 degrees outside, or if the car's just been sort of used and brought back to find out what kind of reading it gives off. So in the forums anyway, there was someone who said that, uh, and I'll read it for you. Basically, they said that their battery um, Kappa Max is calculated using capacity value. Um, and they've basically seen it change. So in their 2014 BEV, with only 9,000 miles on it, it did say 18.9, which I believe the maximum is 18.8. Um, in November 2015, it said 16.5, well, 16.5, in uh, October 2016 and 20 in November 2016 after a software update so the software update obviously recalibrated that or upped it for some reason and then they dropped down to 19.7 which is still above the max in October 2017 and then 18.9 which is the max really in February 18 and now they're back on 16.2 back in October 2019 um, so it seems like it has really varied and someone else does say that they think that it varies due to the battery temperature but kind of looking back at hours obviously the if the maximum was 18.8 uh, usable um, to us in the car when it was new then we've actually dropped down 16.2 gives us it works out to be a 14% loss in battery capacity 
over kind of nine years, which I think is really, really good. I think BMW got it right with the cooling and the kind of heating of the batteries to try and uh, make that battery capacity last longer through its life. Because there's always this thing of people saying that the electric car battery capacity will degrade and they'll be worth nothing in kind of five years, five to 10 years. But this little car that was kind of built probably pre uh, late 2013 or early 2014 before it was registered um, is kind of doing uh, really, really well still. Uh, and I'm hoping that we'll still have it when it's 10 years old and I can celebrate its kind of 10 year anniversary and then kind of check it then when it will probably have done about 70,000 miles, I guess, uh, by the time next September rolls around. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found that useful. If you did, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll speak to you soon.